there. I'm Chris Rachel Oslin with the Austin Post. And I'm Gavin Stone with Fanboy TV. And on our South by Southwest Live Day, we are now with the crew behind Swim Little Fish Swim. Hi. Let's introduce <laughs> who we are. Yeah, I'm Lola Bessis. And, and I'm Ruben Amar. We are both Fimico. Yeah, and they're here from too. Paris to be on our show, which is amazing. And they're also here for South By. <laughs> yeah, rumor has it. But they're on our show first. <laughs> okay, so let's tell the audience just a little bit. What is Swim Little Fish Swim? Uh, Swim Little Fish Swim is um, a comedy drama, and it's, uh, it takes place in the art world in, in New York. And it's about um, two main interim stories. So um, there is uh, Lee Ward, who is a fringe musician trying to striving to make his art and is married with uh, Mary who is a hard-working nurse and they don't understand each other anymore and enters Lilas who is also uh, an artist she's a French uh, um, video maker and she's the daughter of a very famous French painter so she tries to escape her father's her mother's shadow and they meet each other the, she um, she moves into the couple's apartment because they're renting their living room to help pay the bills and so the two the two artists meet and they will help each other to move forward. <laughs> well, one of the things when we watch movies about artists is the artists are pretty self-absorbed. And in your yeah. film, they're actually, they feel like real artists. How did you find that balance where it's like, okay, they're not egotistical, they're just, they're real people. Like, have you, are you guys ever self, like artists who aren't <laughs> that popular? And you're like, oh, I'm losing it, but I'm an artist. Like, how did you uh, discover that's that's what you wanted to write about. I don't know. I think f to be a filmmaker is a very suffering process. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it was pretty easy to understand who the characters mm -hmm. are. So we decided to work around this stuff. And mm. yeah, that's. Do you think there's there are different stereotypes for French artists than for American artists? Because with American artists, the stereotype is usually that. Again, as you were saying, very egotistical, very self-centered, yeah. not really caring about the people around them. Would you say it's fairly different for French artists? Um, it depends. It depends <laughs> on, on the artist. artist <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's a bit the same. Like for for example, the character of the mother in our film, she's like very famous and very like uh, self-centered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I think in the indie world, it's different yeah. because yeah. we're like fighting every day. So uh, that's a topic that we felt close to and we wanted to and I think the French the French uh, artist which is played by Lola uh, mm -hmm. helps a lot Lee Ward the character of the, um, the main yeah. character of the movie to open up and so maybe the French yeah. could help they're not self-centered <laughs> <And> they, <laughs> <can laughs> they can maybe seem self-centered sometimes but they're not <laughs> so which that's, th that, that's the other topic I want to talk about is you know the artist's world's meshing and helping each other I don't notice that in the world of art much these days. It's yeah. like I painted a dot on the wall <laughs> and it's the most brilliant thing ever and you can't say anything. You yeah. know, art is a really harsh critic. Yeah, yeah it is. That's right. It, uh, writing that mm -hmm. balance, how did you figure out the way to interweave the stories just enough so that they didn't overlap each other and they really just complemented each other? Um, that, was, that was a bit hard, but the fact we really wanted uh, all of the characters to live in the same apartment so that we could observe them all together. Um, but a lot of the scenes are just like one of the main character uh, on his own. Um, but we mainly focus on the, um, the story of the couple. And my character, uh, who moves into the couple's apartment, uh, is more like an observer. Like she's she's a video artist. Like a vehicle so in the so movie. She, so yeah. she films everything, yeah. and and yeah. So I think she's also interested in other people, and and she has kind of it's it's a very realistic film, but she has kind of this uh, uh, super power, which is that when she when she films people, she could like read kind of their feelings, mm -hmm. like unconscious feelings. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and so that's maybe why she's able to help the other character. And what made you guys decide to uh, film it in New York? Because we, I, I used to make, um, to make two short films there. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we, we co-wrote and directed a movie in Israel. And just after we moved to New York, and yeah, I was studying in New York, yeah. okay. and we were trying to write a new script for a feature, but we we've been very 
bored by the, by the mm. process and found the process. So we decided yeah. to mm. immediately mm. shoot something. Mm. And okay. And we were fascinated by the all the magical atmosphere that we felt in in the city, and yeah. and we really wanted to capture it. Yeah, mm. to capture that and make a film with it. So now most of your film takes place in that apartment. What were your challenges in something trying to fit so many people in such a small area? Especially with the New York yeah. apartment. I mean, they're, they're yeah. notoriously tiny. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think it's very close to the reality for most of the people in New York. So, yeah. and you can imagine when you add the crew mm -hmm. inside. So we've been like forty people in like <laughs> one <laughs> bedroom. Uh, that's a really yeah. lo that's a lot of people in a yeah. small yeah. house. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, totally yeah. insane. That's what Mary, the the main character, she's always fed up with living because there is not only Lila's my character who lives in their living room but also Shiraz another girl who's Lila's friends and that's because of her that she comes and move there because she has nowhere to stay um, so there are like four of them plus uh, Lila's and Mary's uh, shell daughter uh, so the five of them in this tiny apartment and, and Mary is really fed up with that situation and that's we weren't fed up, but that's a bit what <laughs> we felt while like shooting this movie because we were all always like 20 or 25 people in this <laughs> apartment, <laughs> which was actually our, our apartment oh where really? we used to live. Yeah. So <laughs> it was very that close was to the reality yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what we were living so at this yeah. time. So. Well, everybody <laughs> in the movie plays off each other really well. How long did it take you to get everybody together where you had that magical cast that just worked? It, it we used to take a long time to to find people to the right people and then we we have we had this workshop session uh -huh. during mm -hmm. almost two months and we stay all together and yeah. everything come naturally I don't well know. i guess being in a small room you kind of yeah. yeah. get to know each other really really well you're yeah. like hey what's <laughs> yeah. up sometimes it's hard but sometimes yeah it was too and yeah. Yeah. not it was an easy process but yeah well yeah. you guys haven't premiered yet have you at no. south by south are you guys nervous yeah, because <laughs> this will be the first time anyone's watched the movie, exactly. correct? Yeah, outside yeah. of you guys, yeah. exactly. Oh. So well, I <laughs> wish you guys the best of luck. Yeah. I hope Thank it you. all goes well. And I hope everyone likes Thank the you. movie. Yes, Thank because you. it is so funny. It's really well written, and just the cast alone, man, yeah. they played off each other really well. <laughs> you guys were awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So have a best time at South by Southwest. Thanks yeah. for coming out. Thank, Thank you. Thanks and Thank we you hope much. you guys had a good yeah. time. And yeah. For sure. <laughs> Knock it out of the park when you premiere <laughs> that movie. <laughs> yeah, thank you.